Hi, I'm Nick Pawson and you're watching News 24 Live. Uh, this morning I'm joined in studio by our resident soccer guru, Wade Pretorius, to talk soccer matters, of course. Woke up this morning to some terrible news about the passing of Bafana goalkeeper and captain Senza Mayua. Wade, good morning. Thanks for joining me. Good morning, Nick. At yeah. such a uh, short notice. Yeah, obviously terrible, terrible news to wake up to. I only um, uh, heard about it this morning. Um, yeah, tributes pouring in. Um, what else do you know about the incident? Well, yeah, at the moment details are pretty sketchy. Um, it was seems like a botched uh, robbery. Mm. Um, he was at his girlfriend Kelly Kamala's house last night, and um, so far the, the story goes that he um, got in the way once a gun was pulled um, in her direction, and he was shot. Uh, shot, and yeah, he was pronounced dead on arrival at the hospital. Um, truly shocking news. Uh, for the footballing world, not only in South African football, but globally. Um, mm. it, for a South African national team captain to be, to be shot and, and killed in this manner is, yeah, is, is truly uh, terrible. Yeah. Of course, um, you know, a relatively new captain uh, mm. appointment. Um, and seem, Bafana seemed to just have a, sort of have a breath of new life uh, under his captaincy. I mean, obviously doing really well on course for AFCON qualification. Um, yeah, I mean, the team must be devastated. Yeah, you, um, the tributes have been uh, flooding in. Um, two of his teammates, Andile Jolly and Darren Keat, um, obviously expressing their mm. sadness on, on Twitter this morning. Yeah, it's, he's been phenomenal in, in goals. He hasn't conceded mm. a goal, and that's probably the main reason why we why we're on course to qualify. Um, he, he's mm. taken over the captain's armband. Uh, Sheikh Mashaba entrusted him with it, and yeah, he he really moved the team forward uh, in a tremendous fashion in, in so mm. so uh, such a short time. Um, yeah, it's it's kind of thrown um, everything out of the window. You know, nobody is looking about Bafana, what they're doing now. People are just trying to come to grips with his untimely mm. passing. Um, and it's big ramifications going forward, not only for uh, Bafana, but for Orlando Pirates, for the PSL. Mm. You know, this is this is massive news and, and needs to be dealt with correctly to, to honor Senzo. Mm. I mean, obviously, you know, not to, you know, sound insensitive at this stage, but I mean, what what kind of a void is this going to leave in, uh, you know, at Orlando Pirates and Bafana Bafana? Yeah, a, a massive one. And, and unfortunately, that's, you know, that's something that, that needs to be thought about and, and mm. going forward that's something that needs to be dealt with. With Kunesel out injured, who's gonna take um, who's gonna take over from mm. Senzo and goals now? Who's gonna be the captain? Um, you know, mm. not only is it a terrible amount of sadness, but yeah, unfortunately our rivals in Afcon, you know, they, they still wanna qualify for the tournament and unfortunately it's one of those things mm. that the game must go on. Um, same situation at Pirates. They've lost their captain. You know, they, their season isn't going according mm. to plan at the moment, um, in the PSL wise anyway. And yeah, they've now got to look for a, a goalkeeper to step up and, and replace their captain and a pretty inspirational leader. Mm. Senza is only 27 years old as, at the same time. Yeah. I mean, he had at least six years probably left at the highest level. Um, who knows if Kune would have even gone on to, to reclaim the gloves from him because he has been performing so well. You can't, you, you wouldn't have been dropped at this stage anywhere. Mm. So yeah, it's, it's a, a lot of uh, food for thought at the moment. Yeah, of course, I mean, yeah, everybody uh, in the footballing world at the, at the moment just being really sort of introspective and, and mourning his passing. Mm. Um, is, is there anything that Safa can do or take action on in terms of protecting their, their players. I mean, see, there have been a lot of uh, incidences with, with players and administrators, you know, in terms of their safety and stuff, and, yeah. you know, off, off the field. I mean, it's obviously this is South Africa is the times we live in, but is there, I mean, what, can you see Safa taking action in any, in any form to try to prevent this kind of thing from happening again? I can't see them doing anything security-wise um, because there's just too many players and, and then who do you try and protect as it were mm. and you know that kind of thing so what they probably will be doing is educating their players educating the fans you know try and stay safe um, be alert lock your doors you know mm. you, you don't know what happened uh, last night so you can't speculate but um, yeah I don't think Safa can do any much about it at the moment mm. I just want to uh, wait, uh, just re read some of these um, these tweets that have come through. Um, yeah, 
from all all sporting codes. I mean, here's one from Alvira Peterson, obviously Protez Batsman. No longer can we accept that murdering innocent people is part of South Africa. Lives shattered. Rest in peace, Senzo, and thoughts with his family. Um, Kickoff magazine. Uh, someone tweeted, you know, what was the reason for killing him? Can't say for sure. Some say robbery, others say otherwise. I mean, do you think that there uh, were possibly any other motives for this? Yeah, you, you don't know, and I don't think it would probably be fair at this point to, mm. to start throwing um, other stories out there. You know, I think we've got to try and let uh, the South African Police Service do their job and uh, mm. try and try and get justice. I see they've offered a 150,000 rand reward yes. for any information. Um, I'd really hope that that you know, leads to the arrest of, I think there were three suspects involved at this stage mm. that they, they're looking for. And yeah, I hope that, that something uh, positive can come out of this, you know, um, a little bit more faith restored in our police services for when tragedy like this happens, at least you know mm. that somebody will be held accountable. Mm. But yeah, it's just crazy. Yeah. Uh, sorry, a tweet here from Roger Desar, obviously he, he once coached at Pirates. Mm. Uh, rest in peace, my friend. They say there is always another player. To me, there will never be another Senzo. Thank you, my buddy.